Hey guys, back in our video and today I'm just going to be doing a top 10 of my favourite makeup products in January of 2017. Time has flied, 2016 went so quick and it was an alright year I guess but I feel 2017 is going to be the year, as everyone says, the year that's going to make every change. I feel like 2017 I'm going to try and be a lot more positive and give a lot more of a positive vibe to other people so yeah let's just get started so starting off with one of the first things I use in the morning and this is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm and this just wait for it to focus back uh, this is the best primer slash moisturizer I have ever used. I have really, really, really dry skin which I recently found out. I don't know, over the last two, three years I've been doing makeup, I always thought I had combination skin but recently dry patches are starting to form and I need a moisturizer as soon as possible. I do have many moisturizer now as they have started to collect over the last few months. So one of my other favorite products is the MAC Studio, it's not going to focus, it's the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 and this is in the colour NC15. This just matches my skin so well. I am wearing it right now but I've had this makeup on since like half six this morning. Not half six, half seven this morning. So it's definitely gone by now because it's now around eight, nine o'clock at night. But this stuff stays on for a good six to seven hours. I wear this all day at school and it's still on when I come home. So moving on to the next product, this is probably the product I use on the daily basis as well as those two products. I do use most of these products daily. This is, this is really disgusting, this is the Real Techniques Beauty Blending Sponge Thing Wedge. I don't know what you call it but it's orange and it's very disgusting because I use it daily and uh, I just love these things. I don't know, they just, if you have dry skin, these are so good for moisturising because obviously it's damp so it's giving a lot of moisture and I just feel like this helps a lot with my drier patches. Moving on to eyebrow products, I've got two eyebrow, eyebrow products to show you. Starting with, this is the Benefit Cabrow and this stuff. Starting with this, like come on, there's a little brush, it's so travel friendly. I've honestly used this product so much. I have this in the colour 3, which is a chocolatey colour. I'm not really sure. I have quite dark dark hair at the top and quite light hair at the bottom, so I tend to go for like a chocolate, a chocolatey colour for my eyebrows. And to go along with that, I also use the Benefit Ready Set Brow Brow Gel because this stuff. I'm not joking, make sure eyebrows stay on all day, I'm not joking, all day. It doesn't, it goes hard, it sounds weird, but it goes solid, but it doesn't like go horrible on your actual eyebrows, like it keeps them in place so solid that like nothing's going to move them. And that is just the best thing ever if you're going to school and you have no time to touch up or anything like that. So moving on to my favourite mascara of this month, this is the Great Lash by Maybelline in Very Black. This is some cute packaging by the way, just it's cute as by itself but this is so good for lengthening my lashes. I do use other mascaras as well but this one I tend to just go back to. The only problem with this one I have is that it does sometimes transfer on my eyelids if I don't wear eyeshadow but if I wear eyeshadow then it tends to be okay because I put mascara on after so I don't know it just it doesn't transfer when I've got eyeshadow on but it does when I do not which confuses me I don't know 
So I tend to go for other mascaras on different days, but this mascara is so good other than that. These two next products are technically one, but I'm going to put them both in because I love both of these brushes. These are by Real Techniques. This is the powder brush and this is the sculpting brush. I use this one for my bronzing and contouring and I use this one for powder. These are just Real Technique brushes, sponges, anything like that are just so good. It is unreal. I just, I love Real Techniques. Moving on to the second last product. This is Benefit's Hula Bronzer. I've really got into Benefit in the last couple of months slash weeks and yeah hula bronzer has been in my collection since the beginning basically because I just use it daily this one is not nearly done I would say it still has some life in it but I don't know I just I just love this bronzer I don't know why everybody raves about it and I just understand why it's so practical and I just love it Moving on to the last product. This is probably one of the best products I've ever bought. They, these retail for around 20 from 19 to 21 pound. It depends if you get them on sale or not. But this is the Mor Morphe 35 T palette. I'm just gonna open it. Sorry about my phone by the way. I forgot to put it on silent. So it's going mental. Not really mental. This is the 35 T palette. I've used this so much. I honestly, this palette alone is just so beautiful. You have all your different, you have dark purpley shades up here and then you've got some golden shimmers. It just has everything in it that you need for a starter. Or even just any eyeshadow look you can think of, this palette honestly has it. And I just love this palette so, so much. And it's, for 35 shades, I feel like between like we'll just say 20 pound mark that is generally quite good that's around well it's obviously less than a pound each which in general is really really cheap for eyeshadow which I just love to be honest and they're just such good quality as well so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video please like comment down below if you enjoy more of these makeup videos because obviously <sighs> I'm a makeup junkie and I love makeup I've recently got a lot more into it in the last three to four months and yeah I want to bring more makeup videos and if you do like the fact of more makeup videos comment down below makeup junkie I don't know why makeup junkie but just comment down below makeup junkie if you enjoy makeup videos I've said makeup junkie and makeup so many times in the last sentence I don't really care but yeah comment down below that and I hope you enjoyed this video and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and recently this channel has got quite a lot of views more recently because I have been posting quite a lot more content and I hope you enjoy more content because the more content content I seem to upload the more views and the more subscribers and the more of views there are so yeah I'm going to keep uploading as much as possible I will also still be uploading my music plays because I don't know, I've fallen in love with Musical.ly and I hope you don't get too bored of them but if you do then I'm really sorry but I do try and make these videos a lot and yeah, peace. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Bye.